In this presentation, we discuss the World Resource Institute's Aqueduct Atlas, which maps water risks, stress, and scarcity. WRI's tool maps overall water risk by examining a dozen factors in three categories. The system is meant to help businesses, investors, governments, and communities better understand vulnerabilities to water-related risks. This screenshot shows how overall risk compares worldwide. You can also view individual components and select from weighting schemes that vary by industry. Here's a close-up of the United States showing interannual variability of the water supply, which is especially high in the southwest. The numbers and circles indicate how many water-related news stories are available for each location through the map's built-in feed. You can download the underlying GIS data, which I used to create this map showing the baseline water stress in the United States. This is a measure of water use compared to the renewable supply of water in an area. Red, for example, indicates that more than 80% of available fresh water is used and supply disruptions are likely to occur due to natural phenomena, competition among users, political pressure, or regulatory measures. You can see that the West is home to most of the highest stress areas. The aqueduct tool also lets you show projections for the future based on different greenhouse gas emissions models. This view shows the IPCC's optimistic B1 scenario. A few areas in the inland west are expected to become moderately more stressed by 2095, but otherwise the conditions are expected to be near baseline. But if you switch to the pessimistic A2 emission scenario, which involves much warmer temperatures and in many parts of the West a drier climate, you can see that the stress levels are much higher. There's no place in the continental United States that has less water stress in 2095. You can download more slides and other resources at ecos.org.